Hey guys, I've been doing some work with Docker and I found these two cool tools that I wanted to do uh, some short videos today and tomorrow just uh, highlighting them and uh, thought you guys might get some value out of this as well if you're not using them. So the first one is called Portainer and first let me show you the problem it's solving. So usually when I'm doing stuff with Docker it'll be I'm looking at the logs, I want to kill a container so I'll first list the uh, my containers I'll be like, all right, so I have this Prisma container running. Let's take a look at the ID. I'll copy it, and then I'll be like, Docker container logs. And I'll print out the logs. All right, cool, I see all this junk from my Prisma server. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take a look at the logs for my other thing. So I'll do Docker container LS again. I'll come over here, and I'll look at this other one. Here's the MySQL instance. And I'll be like, Docker container logs. Or I might then want to be like, all right, something looks wrong with this. Let's turn it off. So then I'm like, all right, let's pull that up. And we'll do container and I'll kill the container or I'll stop it. And I just found like I was typing a lot and I was constantly just doing Docker uh, container LS. And it didn't seem like a really good way to do it. So what I wanted to do was find maybe a UI or a dashboards type of thing that would help me solve this problem and basically do docker stuff easier and that's where i found portainer um pretty popular uh it looks like with 7k stars and uh it runs in docker so you uh, set this up and it's actually just a little website you visit and then you can manage your docker containers so to get this set up you run a command and i think it's on their website but i'll show you guys the command right here um docker we can just go up a little bit i just ran this guy so here it is right here. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to try running this as well. Um, and I do have a little bug in this. So I made a folder called Portainer. So the only thing is you have to bind a volume. That's this thing right here. So I made a folder called Portainer in this folder and that's where I'm storing all the data that this uses. But I'm storing it on port 9000. And then notice you have to also give it access to the Docker socket because it's gonna be doing things. So I already have it running, as you saw. When I did Docker container LS, you could see this guy right here started, started two hours ago. Um, and uh, this is what it looks like when you start it up. You first have to create an account and get it running, but it's a really nice dashboard. I just was like, I didn't even realize how many features there was in Docker. And uh, the only things I've really been using though is the images. Um, and the containers one. The rest of it I'm not really getting into yet, but I just started using this tool, so I'm sure there's a lot to do. Uh, I definitely don't know enough to really do a full tutorial on this yet, but maybe later when I get better at it. But uh, I just noticed some interesting stuff while doing this. I just have like some old containers that are just kind of sitting around that I could probably delete, and this is much easier to try to delete. I just click on the little check boxes and like, all right, let's kill them or whatever. Um, so I really liked this interface right here and like this is where I could be like all right here's my Prisma image right here I can click on that and I can uh, look at the logs for it and hey take a look here are my logs um, and then I could just right I can just go back a tab and tab between the two if I want to so uh, that was really nice and then the other thing I really liked was in the images being able to uh, filter so I have currently just looking at my unused ones and uh, I have currently them all listed so I could just be like bam remove all my unneeded ones but there is a command from the command line also you can run for docker um, kill all of them but I just wanted to show you guys real quick this tool that I feel like would be really useful if you're using docker and you haven't heard about it before uh, I'm still playing around with it and trying to learn it but I really enjoyed it so far uh, much nicer to use than just the uh, CLI but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to highlight this and uh, go give it a try if you haven't already.